one. So this is going to be my first video of Adventures in Kingwood. I just found a trail the other day. It's actually one of the main trails here, but I found the entrance, like the real entrance to the trail. So I thought I would go ahead and get started on recording this. Holy sh! Part of my French. It's damn gorgeous. Look at this. Oh my god. Okay. Well, there's actually a sign in the front that said attention photographers blah 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 something 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 i don't know what it said i don't know what this is it said it was just for the east end i don't know what that means uh technically i'm a resident here so i don't know <laughs> what that's all about but today is just gonna mark the first day and i guess through this i'm already seeing pathways that people have created you know, upon editing my videos, something I really realize is I go, I say, um, and so, and, and, way too much. We're going to be working on that. Also, I had no idea. I, <laughs> ah, oh, I talk with my, I talk with my mouth wide open, guys. Why hasn't anybody ever told me this? It's equivalent to that day I found out that I have a wonky eye. The moment I found out I had a wonky eye, I started asking people, hey, do I have a wonky eye? And some people said yes. Actually, everybody said yeah. And they pointed out which one it was. And I'm like, why did it? Nobody told me. I had no idea I have a wonky eye. Fortunately enough, I share it with a friend and his wonky eye is on the same side oh, as my wonky eye so he didn't he didn't know he had a wonky eye until one day we were hanging out and i asked him i was like hey do i have a wonky eye he looks at me and he says no and i take a second to just observe him for a moment and by god I take a second to observe him for a moment and then I realize the moment I realized this I said it out loud you have a wonky eye too and it's on the same side as my wonky eye so that's pretty cool I guess I'm gonna put this top thing down because it's I keep looking up and I need to look down so I'm gonna put this down Bam. Also, guys, you have to forgive me for that. And also, my tripod little handheld one that I have is actually in my bag. But I don't want to grab it. So we're not going to grab it. That was just a little story time about my wonky eye. My God, it's gorgeous. Look, I'm over here just yabbing on. Let me show you guys the real reason that we're out here. It's for this. That know me personally know me I went off trail but bam this is where we're at I decided to follow this path thing oh god have I just realized mistakes were made probably because it's a little look at these shoes look at this dirt nah it's solid we're good yeah it's setback.
gonna find a spot and I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna record for you guys. Hey guys, okay, so we're just gonna fix this a little bit. I'm trying to get this background in here. This is a lot harder than I thought. Really wanted to make this like a sit down kind of thing. I don't have a chair with me. I can't really see the trees though. I mean, you can if I move. Hey guys, so uh, my camera's about to die. It's flashing red, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, so I found this spot right here. Right here, if you can't see. Let's do a quick 360 of what I see. It's damn gorgeous out here. We got this Skyrim-esque background going on. Wow. Doesn't really matter where I point this camera. Okay. All right, everyone. Is that good? It's good for me. You're a little crooked. Anyway, all right, guys. So I found this area out here we got this skyrim-esque background that's really really motivating me to want to play skyrim unfortunately there's actually a lot of like little trails that are off trail that I, I i mentioned earlier that there's a lot of little trails that are just they've been pressed because people have been walking through them unfortunately this is my shoe situation i should have worn my boots would have been a lot easier to walk through all of this if I had my boots on, but I don't. So this is where we're at. This is where we're at. It's damn pretty. Okay. Well, my camera's actually flashing, and I meant to do the whole, like a whole spiel today about just uh, my first week here in Kingwood, just to like talk about that, just like a little. So when I found this spot, I meant to do a little chit chat sit down with me so i can tell you guys how my first week here has been so we're just going to talk about this real quick my first week here has been incredibly insane the first three days complete blur i was pretty much just stressed the first three days i was never home <laughs> bam put that i don't remember too many details of anything now i did record some bits and i can upload a few little snippets at some point but I don't know I was mostly either at my dad's house trying to get rid of things even now a week later I'm still trying to lighten the load that I have sorry guys it's just damn pretty out here <laughs> I actually just walked all of this Or I walked all of that over there that you just saw earlier, but yeah, anyway. Or I was at the store trying to get things ready so that I can at least have a breakfast prepared. And if not that, then I was getting stuff for the girls so that they can be comfortable and just bringing it over to the house so that the girls can be comfortable with my smell, obviously, because a lot of it is that on top of like, I was trying. I was trying to minimize the stress for the girls as much as possible, but I realized I probably stressed them out a lot more that I wasn't there. And I know that when I was home, there's an airplane just like shooting on up. And it's just like, Phew. But I realize now that the girls definitely sensed the stress on me because the girls were stressing heavy. I noticed it whenever I would be home at night, they would be either curled up with me or they would be hiding under the bed. They're barely starting to warm up. On the fourth day, I started to, everything started to simmer down just a little bit more, but it wasn't as, it was still a little hectic for me because at that point I was trying to get everything settled with transferring jobs and still having to go grocery shopping for dinner stuff that I could make and trying to get the hang of a routine, like a morning, a different, trying to get the hang of a comfortable morning routine and a comfortable nighttime routine and on top of that trying to get the girls settled in still and it was a little more relaxed i know i just made it sound a lot stress like 
I know I just made it sound a bit stressful, but it was a little more relaxed. On the the fifth and sixth day, like it was still like continuing to try and get my whole work life situated. Trying to get my whole work life situated and figuring out a start date and all of that. I had to go through a second interview for one of the jobs, which was fine because I still got it. But you know, just the stress of all of that. I do have uh, footage of me. One job is in the woodlands, one job is in Umble, so I've got, I got things, I got things in the works. <laughs> By the way, never really actually drove through the woodlands myself. Might I say, 1314, gorgeous road, gorgeous. Um, so yeah, about a week later, this is where I'm at. I'm a lot less. Hi, I don't look very presentable right now. I just woke up not too long ago, but I'm going through finishing up this video here and I realized that the way that it ended, even the way that like it just, the camera died before I could finish saying anything. So just a brief, uh, I was just saying that I was a lot less stressed than I was in the very beginning of moving everything. But at that point, I was still very stressed, but a lot less stressed. So. I just wanted to hop in here and end the video properly and say thank you so much for watching and I know this one was a little short and it was like half of me just walking and then half of me just talking but that's usually how those videos were back then so that's just the way it is. <laughs> Alright friends, I hope y'all are having a magnificent day and I will see you guys in the next one.